Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Uh, today we're going to take a look at both ShareWell and ServiceNow. And what we're going to look at is um, if you ever need someone to have access, but they only need just like an audit access, like a read only access, where they can't actually do something in the system, but you do want them to be able to view those items. So in ShareWell, what I would do to go about that is I would go into security edit security groups, and then I would create a new security group. You can call it something like audit. And then you can choose the business object rights that they have access to. So depending on what they need, they may not need your entire system, um, which would be ideal. Um, so just giving them access to the things that they do need. So probably like change requests, making sure that they have view access on the change request as well as the new field, um, things like incident, those types of things. And that's what I would check for. And then once you create the user, make sure to associate the security group of audit or whatever you created to that user. Now remember that all users can have be a part of only one security group that determines their security settings. And so I think that would be uh, how I would go about it in ShareWell. Now, if we go into ServiceNow, what you could do is create a group called Audit. We'll submit that. And the reason I say create a group is because what you're basically going to need to do is assign a series of roles to uh, this group. And best practices state it's better to do that to a group versus an individual, um, especially since the individuals might go in and out. You might have multiple individuals. And so it's going to be better to do that to a group. And so then you're going to want to determine what they have access to based on the role. Um, if you don't know what all the rules are, you can certainly look up them on the ServiceNow website. Um, for this instance, uh, I'm just going to give them the admin right. Um, and then the important one here is going to be to give the SNC read only. Um, what this does is, one moment, any roles that I am adding here, any of these roles, what they will do is they'll give access to view those items. This SNC read only ensures that no, as long as I have this role, that everything else becomes read only. So even though the agent security admin might give me right access to certain things, because I have the SNC read only role associated with it, I cannot write. I can only read into whatever access that this has. So then I would save that and then add the group members, whether it be new or existing members. Um, that's how I would go about it in ServiceNow. So um, somewhat similar, uh, a little bit different. ServiceNow deals more with the um, roles and, and creating that group versus ShareWell. Um, but pretty much all of it's just within the security group settings and then making sure that you're assigning that user to that security group. That's all I've got for today. Thanks and have a great day.